So this would be the part of the Friday Uber lessons where I show you about the different techniques that you can use in the song. Millstone, I tend to play with a pick. It gives me more of an edge so that I can kind of put an accent on beats two and four of these power chord two string verse and pre-chorus riffs but it also just gives me that little extra drive even though it's a slow song it kind of just keeps things chugging along plus when you look at the what makes up brand new you got a drummer you got couple of you got a lead singer a couple of backup singers and three separate guitars so the pick can help you get a edgier punch to your attack so that you can be heard now granted you are probably not gonna be in a band with three guitarists anytime soon well and even then you can fiddle around with the EQ on your amp so that you get that extra cut ways to do it with your fingers I'm really working the J pickup the J pickup does give you a bit of an extra boost this is the P pickup really more of a warmer sound when you got the J pickup going along with the P pickup you can get more of an edge uh, now with if you're using your fingers in these string crossings you gotta make sure that you can keep a smooth even attack even if you're playing one with an accent The only other thing that I can really think of in this song to have you work on technique is how long you want to let your strings ring out. Oh, string, how long you let your strings ring out can drastically affect the song overall. I think what I would suggest for you to try working on is in the verse and pre-chorus pattern, you know. What I would suggest to you is to start working on just letting that the notes that you play on the A string ring out, just let them ring. But whatever note you hit on the D string, cut it short. And there are a couple different ways you can do it. You can... You can literally hit the string and then take your finger off. So you can choke it off completely. Honestly, that's the easiest way I can tell you. I was trying to come up with ways where you can, you know, palm mute with your hand. But that just makes your right hand all screwy and using your pinky to try to mute it. Honestly, the best thing you can do is strike it and then take your finger off the remove pressure from the string. on those things. And now you get to hear me sing. <laughs>